lovies welcome back to my channel i am coming to you today with some more content with baskin bloom i cannot get over how much definition i got by using these products let's start off by talking about the rasul and bentonite clay shampoo bar it's used to clean the scalp and contains moisturizing ingredients to avoid stripping the hair this stuff is bay when i tell you it's bay Next, we have the Brahmi Root Hair Mask. It is their moisturizing deep conditioner, which includes Ayurvedic herbs to help with strengthening and protection from breakage. This product does contain a very moisturizing protein called hydrolyzed wheat protein. This is not a protein conditioner, but it's a formulating moisturizing deep conditioner. Look at that consistency. It is so thick and the smell is amazing. Next we have the Ease Leave-In Conditioner. This conditioner is so moisturizing. It offers slip and it easily detangles your strands with nourishing butters and oils. Next we have their Mango Caster Twisting Cream. This is the cream that I use to do my twist. This is a heavier cream formulated for thicker hair such as myself to moisturize and provide definition, which it definitely does provide. You can see right here that the consistency is super, super thick, but you'll be surprised how it absorbs. The next product that I use is the Twirly Hair Gel. This gel offers light hold as it doesn't contain carbomers or any alcohol. This product I used after the Mango Twisting Cream. It is meant to assist in moisturizing and defining twist outs and braid outs without any crunchiness or flakiness. It has a very loose consistency. So let's get on and go on with the tutorial. Stay tuned. With using the shampoo bar, you have to make sure your hair is saturated and wet the shampoo bar before adding it to your hair to help with the lathering of the shampoo. As you can see in this clip, it lathers as if it has sulfates in it, but it's 100% organic. hates detangling this is like the worst part but Baskin Bloom made it so much easier for me to detangle because it provides so much slip to my hair so I'm jamming and detangling and adding my deep conditioner using the praying hand methods and finger detangling before I actually go in with my brush Okay, I rinsed out the deep conditioner. Now I'm adding the Ease Leave-In Conditioner, the Mango Butter Twisting Cream, and the Twirly Gel. As you can see, I'm twisting my hair two-strand twist and detangling it at the ends so that 
the twist out looks more defined and prevalent. Like it's gonna be looking so bomb. You just wanna make sure that you're evenly distributing all products through your hair and saturating your hair with these products so that you can get the best results. So now I'm styling the front of my hair. I just left out two sides in the front where I'm doing two cornrows on the front of my hair to have like a different type of style. Like I just can't do a simple twist out. I just gotta be extra because I am extra. You guys will see that, like I'm very extra. So I'm just gonna put two braids on the side and I'm going to give it a little bit of edge and creativeness and just give it some oomph, you know? So sit back and just look at what your girl's about to do. So now I am saturating my hair with the same products the same way and detangling it because now I'm gonna do some Bantu knots. I love, when I want edge, I usually add some Bantu knots. Like as you can see, like anytime I'm going out and I wanna do something different, Bantu knots are incorporated somehow, some way. So you're just gonna twist it around, keep making sure that it's twist and twist it and twist it. And I actually secure my Bantu knot with a rubber band. So I'm adding the braid at the end to the Bantu knot and twisting it around to give it that style. I'm gonna continue to do this with the rest of the hair, but I realized that securing the hair with a rubber band prior to Bantu knotting it, it gives it more of a sleek look so that your hair doesn't bulge more at the roots. So I would suggest that if you wanna just use your Bantu knot more as a style instead of using it as an actual um, technique for like a twist, you know, like how we do for twist outs. So if you're gonna keep the Bantu knots in, I suggest maybe putting like a rubber band in and with taking out the rubber band, just make sure you break the rubber band because you don't wanna um, pull like a little bit of your hair out. Oh girl, you did that. You see those juicy twists? Yes. I am loving this. Like, if you want to know my reaction, this is my reaction. Like, my hair is so moisturized, and I already know, I already know, by just looking at my hair right now, that these twists out is going to be phenomenal. So I'm just adding some oil to my hair prior to twisting, taking out the twist, because adding oil will decrease the amount of frizz. Ooh, girl, look at that. Now that's definition. Do you see that definition? Look at that definition. I gotta keep talking about it because the definition is amazing. And for my girls with low porosity here, this is something that you would want to try. Like, this is something that you need to try.
So now I'm going to start separating. We're gonna start separating and we're gonna start fluffing it because at the end of the day, I like volume. I don't know about y'all, I like volume. I'm learning how to create volume with definition. And with Baskin Bloom, I think I'm going to be able to create that with upcoming styles because this collaboration has literally changed my life. Like literally, like I think I'm going to be using these products for the next month real talk and as you can see even while I'm separating it you still see that crazy definition so it is possible to get that definition and volume so I kind of like twist it a little bit just to give it that more of a twirl or a curl towards the end of your hair but you can also separate it just by like separating it where your hair wants to come apart at so like over here you you see me just doing it, just separating it. I'm not twisting my hands or anything. And I'm still getting that major, major definition. So it's up to you how you would like to separate it. Just make sure your hands, your fingers have oil on it to decrease the amount of frizz. finished fluffing and separating and I am so happy like you see your girls feeling herself right I'm feeling myself like I gotta do my little dance because I'm feeling this hair it's to the gods the definition is what I like and the volume is this day with day one it's it's pretty good so by day two you can just keep stretching it out you can put rubber bands or ponytail holders to help stretch out your hair to give it some more volume if you are a volume type of gal. Thank you and I want you to subscribe, like and subscribe this video and tell your friends about your girl tip of all trades.